Hello everyone, welcome back to a little bit of Let's Talk Continuo. Here I have uh, number 30 from this Telemon that we've been playing pretty much this whole time. Because it's good stuff. Uh, this one's called Interesting Marriage. Now, this is an interesting marriage, but uh, also we have another interesting marriage. Um, I bought this looper pedal. We have this, fan this fancy new technology playing with old Baroque stuff. I thought, you know, because this one's such a short one, and I only have 30 seconds of time on this thing. Hey, let's play the melody and then let's play the bass line on it. So an interesting marriage of technology here. A little bit of an interesting marriage. All right, so let's see if I can actually pull this off. I was trying it for a while. It's, it's interesting. All right, so here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right so this one it's it's fairly straightforward you'll notice this is kind of the classic boop bop boop bop you know what i mean we're sitting in the background we're creating enough noise but you'll notice the reason why i wanted to do it this way is because you can really hear in this how the melody is a little bit more prominent and i'm playing in a way that is not as prominent. And so it's kind of balancing. I, I sort of, I did some takes on this and I tried to get it uh, kind of right. <laughs> I don't know if I got the volume right. I'm still learning how to use this thing. I'm st still learning, I'm still learning, okay? So with this, we have this kind of 12-8 texture, right? You can look at this. We've got a nice 12-8 texture. It's, it's fairly simple, but again, danger, 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 okay? So we have this, one, two, three, 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 okay? So whenever I see something like that, I'm gonna say danger because it's so easy to just. Right, and it's just like dun, dun. You hear that with the melody here, it would be. So like not, not fun. You notice how I'm playing it really thick. I'm keeping everything really connected on the bow. I'm just gonna show that to you one more time with a little bit of bow magic here. But... So you'll notice what I'm doing with that is I'm going the end of the bow here at the end here, I'm not doing any lifting. I'm just going. All right, that's no good, okay? We don't wanna do that because you'll notice we wanna feather those ends always. We wanna go, oh yeah. Right, because you see now this is one, two, three, four, instead of one, two, three, four. Now, sometimes you wanna do that. Sometimes you wanna do that, but that's good. That's good. In this case, no, it's not. That's not. That's not the thing. You know, it's just. It's just not the thing for right now. So, here's what we want to do. We want to come in here. And we want to go like this with the melody. I'm just going to show you a little bit of my texture that I'm talking about with the bow that I think pretty much is this whole piece. We go. So you'll notice I'm using a similar amount of bow, but really I'm only getting contact here, and then all this is that kind of fake resonance stuff that I talked about in another one. But just to say it again, what you do is you use your index finger and your, your middle finger here. You're gonna grip the string, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, and you go play the note, you're gonna play it, and then you'll notice I don't lift my bow. I'm not lifting the tip off of the string. We're gonna go, okay? And if you wanna look at the elbow with that, it goes, all right, so we lift the elbow up a little bit out, just a little bit, a little bit back, okay? And we go, and you see how that when I chift it? You don't really want to chift it like that. You want to like, and you notice how I added in a little dynamic contour in there? We go, okay? 
okay? So now this sounds kind of odd by itself, right? This sounds, it just sounds a little bit odd. Now, let's hear it with the texture though. All right, so you see how it's by itself, it sounds really weak and airy, but in the texture, what we're doing here is we're like accenting where the note's changing. We're keeping the note going because we want to keep that line. We don't want to stop it. You know, when you stop the bow, stop the line. So we don't really want to stop the line, but then also you don't want to keep the line going like keep that pressure out to the tip. So what you're going to do is you're going to lighten up on those. You're going to kind of let those be wum, wum, wum is the word, right? W, U, M, wum. All right, so you're going to wub, wub, wub on all these notes. Now, you'll notice how uh, in measure, uh, I guess that would be two. In measure two, uh, on this F4-2 there, I'm kind of linking it because I think that's pretty neat, right? If you hear it from the beginning, we have... See what I'm talking about? It goes... All right, and so the reason why you want to do it this way is I think it just it just adds a little bit of a link there because if you don't have it let's just play that without that link and I'm going to show you guys what I mean okay so it's nice and that would be if like the singer or whoever wanted to play that second phrase like super quiet that would be like perfect because you notice how you're not you're like really letting it go the air completely like the gas just completely goes out of it and you start again and that's a great strategy for like taking something down a dynamic but we don't necessarily want to do that let's just say i don't want to do that because i like the link so what we do is we want to push that d i mean that f we're going to push it into the e like so okay i'm going to show you what i mean <laughs> Notice how it's so let's look at that a little farther away. We're gonna go okay so you'll notice I'm doing exactly what I said don't do which is I'm putting a lot of pressure into the tip and we're going in down to the frog here and when we get there we're just gonna go right and then just not chip it you know and then we're back to the original texture that we were doing and you notice how that pops that out it's suddenly we're getting two textures now okay so again let's hear it the first way which is we're going to link it all right now let's play it the weak way reason why I think it's much more helpful to do this uh, the link there is because you'll notice how uh, in the next line here there is physically like there's a rest all right there's there's this rests here right here now to me that means okay so we already have this happening once so if we do it up here it's kind of ruins the surprise um, and you notice there's this big comma right here big commas big commas okay so that's a moment now we have da ding bomb, and I like to think about that one when we're going into this section. See how we have that eighth note there? So we stop the line. Telemon is telling us stop the line. Okay, we're gonna stop playing notes. We're gonna stop the line. Now let's look at this next section here, and we kind of have a. <laughs> Right, and so now I'm coming into this thing where it goes da ding bum bim bum bee dee, right? Because we're going. And so, so notice how we're climbing. And then, and then we come down. So to accent those notes, we want to go. All right, and then we have another link. We have another link into this end part, okay? Into this end part, we have another 
link for two, that four plus two. We're gonna go. All right, so let's talk about that now, this ending. We have a woo ba woo ba woo ba woo ba and now you have a choice. You can go. We'll hear that. I'm gonna play it a couple times in a second. But you have the. Okay, that's kind of more of a chippy version. Now, I don't think that that's, that doesn't fit the texture for me. We want to. So we want, but we don't want to go doobie 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 doobie, right? We don't want doobie 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 because that's lame. We want to go. We want one, two, three, and one, two, three, right? Play around with kind of the internal rhythm here. But let's just hear it. I'm gonna hear it. Um, I want to play this. We're gonna do it in contained units now. We're gonna go. Notice how that's not doobie doobie. It's one, two, one, two. So we have. Okay, that's like interesting. That's an interesting texture there. You'll notice what I'm doing here is I'm trying to go. <laughs> hey, let's talk continue. <laughs> I must have hit the wrong thing. Okay, so we go. Notice how we have this kind of light and fresh. Light and fresh texture, okay? We have this light and fresh texture. Now let's do it the way that I want to do it, which is it. And of course, with these last three notes, we want to make sure we don't go. Right, we want. All right, so we've got some stuff to think about now. We've got a few things to think about. Let's play it a few times. All right, I'm gonna play it this time. We're gonna do the link in the beginning and I'm gonna play those ending parts like the last system of this I'm gonna play it a bit lighter than I did before <laughs> interesting except for that last C string but hey you know um, so let's do it again now I'm gonna do it the do a bit more of a contained version there at the end uh, I'm gonna do it without the link in the beginning we're gonna see how that sounds <laughs> So you'll immediately notice, probably if we're going to do a gap there in the third measure, let's just hear this one more time. I think you got to, you got to accent the G before it to make it a big deal. You see, that would be the link, of course, <laughs> that would be the link. <laughs> now let's do it the way that I just said, actually. So you see how I'm I'm setting up the expectation there. So you you got to set that expectation up. Let's hear it without the set expectation. It just totally dies, right? Expectation important. Now you'll notice even in that expectation, it's always it's never. A, so you want to do a link, then you're going to go. All right. So this is kind of an interesting one because it really hammers in the importance of playing things lightly. And, uh, but you know, I'm still using a lot of core. I'm still using a lot of energy in the tone, but I think it's cool to be able to hear how, you know, what you do really affects how the underneath is going on and what the melody is going to sound like. Of course we have like a static melody because I'm just recorded it straight into my looper pedal. But, you know, if you were trying to play with somebody who was trying to vibe with you a little bit and you were laying down something that was like a lot more light and, and excited like this, kind of an interesting, an interesting part, then, you know, they might take that and they might go along with it and make something a bit more exciting. Or, for example, 
And at this end part, if you did the, they might push through that part because you're encouraging them to push. But then this way, the, that way is telling them, take some time, take some more time, right? And so in my version, I took a little bit of time. I did the da 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 But you know, again, it's important to be flexible and to be able to do all of these wonderful things. So thank you for bearing with me here on my new technology. Uh, you know, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. And an interesting marriage of technology. Anyways, if you appreciated this video, uh, I would appreciate a, a like, maybe a little thumbs up there, you know? Uh, please subscribe if you want to see more of this. I'm, I'm doing them on Mondays, so it seems to be the thing. And also, um, you know, if you have any questions about this and you want to you wanna know anything more about, you know, Baroque cello, Baroque cello technique, just drop a comment on there and I will be sure to respond to you. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.